Welcome back to IMG Doctor Diaries, the channel that simplifies NHS life for international and junior doctors. This is part one of a three-part series on advanced life support or ALS based on the latest UK Resuscitation Council guidelines. But first, what actually is ALS? ALS is a structured, evidence-based approach to managing cardiac arrest in hospital. It provides a shared language, a clear sequence of actions, and removes guesswork when every second counts. It's essential for working in acute care. It's often mandatory for specialty training applications. And most importantly, it builds your confidence in real emergencies. If you haven't already seen Part 2, Tachycardia Algorithm, and Part 3, Bradycardia Algorithm, check those out after this one. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. The very first step in ALS is recognizing cardiac arrest and doing it quickly. You're called to a patient who is unresponsive and not breathing normally. Let's go through how to assess this properly. Check responsiveness. Speak loudly. Are you okay? Apply pain stimulus, a trapezius squeeze or sternal rub. If no response, assess breathing, but do it fast. To check breathing, follow the look, listen, feel approach for no more than 10 seconds. Look at the chest for movement, listen for breathing sounds, feel for airflow on your cheek. Gasping, agonal breaths, or very slow, irregular breaths are not normal. If you're unsure, treat it as not breathing normally. At this point, cardiac arrest is presumed. Start CPR immediately, 30 compressions to two breaths. Shout for help and call the recess team. Bring the crash trolley and attach a defibrillator or monitor right away. This is where the ALS algorithm begins. Once the monitor is on, you assess the rhythm. There are two options, shockable rhythms, ventricular fibrillation, the F, or pulseless ventricular tachycardia, VT. Non-shockable rhythms, pulseless electrical activity, PEA, or asystole. Shockable rhythms are chaotic or fast heart rhythms that we can treat with a defibrillator. Non-shockable ones won't respond to shocks, they need adrenaline and continuous chest compressions. If the rhythm is shockable, follow this approach. Deliver one shock immediately, usually 150 to 200 joules by phasic. Resume CPR for two minutes, no pulse check. After the third shock, give adrenaline one milligram IV, amiodarone 300 milligrams IV. If still shockable after fifth shock, give amiodarone 150 milligrams IV. Continue cycles of CPR and rhythm checks every two minutes. If the rhythm is non-shockable, like PEA or asystole, begin CPR immediately. Give adrenaline one milligram IV straight away. Repeat adrenaline every three to five minutes, typically every other cycle. While continuing CPR, always consider reversible causes, the four H's and four T's. Hypoxia, hypovolemia, hypohyperkalemia, hypothermia, tension pneumothorax, tamponade, toxins, thrombosis, MI, or PE. If you achieve ROSC, return of spontaneous circulation, your job isn't done yet. You must now start post-resuscitation care. Reassess using ABCDE. Give oxygen, but target 94 to 98% SpO2. Get a 12-lead ECG. Arrange ICU input if needed. Consider targeted temperature management. Continue investigating and treating the underlying cause. This stage is critical to prevent re-arrest and improve outcomes. Before we wrap up, Here's the official ALS algorithm flowchart from the UK Resuscitation Council. This is the exact pathway used in real cardiac arrests across NHS hospitals. Pause the video now, take a screenshot, or study this visual. It shows everything we've covered in one glance. From CPR, defib, rhythm checks, shockable versus non-shockable management, all the way to post-resuscitation care. This image is credited to the Resuscitation Council UK and is shown here for educational purposes only. And that's your complete walkthrough of the UK ALS algorithm, step by step. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe to IMG Doctor Diaries, where I break down clinical content, interviews, and NHS life for IMGs and junior doctors. Make sure to check out part two, tachycardia algorithm, and part three, bradycardia algorithm. If you don't see them yet, they'll be uploaded within the next week, so stay tuned. Comment below if you've already done your ALS course or if you've got any questions before taking it. I read every comment.